guys, today I have a product review for you. I am doing this Sans Cosmetics. That was a very bunny-esque feature right there, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm doing this without makeup so that you guys can see what is going on with my skin because of these products. So let me zoom in a little uncomfortably and show you. For the last few weeks, I have been trying out the Evan Healy products. I really like their line because, well, first of all, it's a woman, and she just believes in sustainable life and sustainable living for your skin as well. So all of her products are um, kind of small batch made in the Pacific Northwest, which is just freaking cool in the first place. Totally hipster sucker for anything from Portland or Seattle. Whoops. So um, she makes everything, you know, from organically grown plant-based derivatives, and I picked up her Rose Balancing Line. I really appreciate her Rose Balancing Line because it does something that I've never seen advertised uh, specifically from a set of um, products, right? So it balances your oil and the water in your skin, which if you have watched my skin care story, you know that I have a problem with this. So it uses rose and geranium and a couple of other um, plant-based hydrosols, I guess is the word she uses, to balance the water and oil in your skin. So it's kind of created for combination oily skin people that are also, also prone to hydration issues, which is totally me. So, I, like I said, I picked up the little sample kit uh, from Whole Foods. It runs for like $29.99, I think, and that price is pretty pretty standard across the board. I have not seen it any cheaper than that. Uh, maybe on Amazon it's like a buck or two cheaper, but I got it at Whole Foods because once again, if I didn't like it, I could just take it back and try something else. Really appreciate that about them. Picked up the sample kit from Whole Foods that is typically supposed to last you about two weeks, and I have already blown through this, and this is my favorite product, the Rose Geranium Facial Tonic Hydrosol. Revitalizing balances oil, oily, dry combination skin. I am a sucker for a good hydration mist. I make my own. I am slightly addicted to them. Rose water and aloe is my favorite, but this one does something different for my skin. It hydrates it without um, pulling anything out, which is really common with the hydration mist, but it also really tones down my oil as well. So like I can use it uh, during the day just to kind of freshen up my makeup. Now I find that I'm not necessarily mattified, but I'm not as dewy as I was before. It also comes with a rose cleansing milk for all skin conditions, especially combination and or mature. Um, and I enjoyed the cleansing milk. I am trying to find something to replace my Ultra Bland from Lush. I'm trying to find something to replace it. Coffee. Because it has parabens, which clearly I did not realize when I purchased it. So I'm trying to find something to replace that. And I've also been giving the whole double cleansing thing a try. And I've been using this in, you know, one of those two steps and I really enjoy it. Um, if you want me to do a full skincare routine, I can definitely do that. Just leave me a comment down below. One of the other things that comes with is the Rose Vitivier Day Moisturizer. I find this too heavy to use in the day, but I will um, top it off at night. It'll be the last step, and I really enjoy it. I kind of use it on my dry patches, which are like right here in my cheeks. Uh, kind of like where your pillow rubs, because um, things get absorbed quicker right there. Um, I will use this and I enjoy it. All of her stuff is completely uh, preservative, fragrance, um, emulsifier free. So it does have a little bit of an interesting herby smell. Don't, don't pick this up and think that it's going to smell like roses because it doesn't. But it's very pleasant. Uh, to me, I'm used to herby, herby, I'm used to herby things. So I like it. I like the smell of it personally. But just to let you know, they do have fragranced. They do have fragrances that are inherent to the ingredients and aren't going to mask anything that's in the ingredients. One of the other things it includes is the French rose clay. I really like this. I have been using it like every other night, every night to kind of um, calm down some blackheads that I have around here. I read that doing a really gentle clay mask every day will 
help you with that situation. So I've been trying that and it really seems to be working along with the oil balancing natures of the other products. I am really pleased with, you know, how my skin is looking right now as it, when it comes to clarifying and refining. And then the last product uh, it comes with is this little tiny thing, little, little tiny thing, little tiny thing of Rosehip Treatment Facial Serum, and this is the Rose. They do have a blue one, which is for the more uh, mature skin, but the Rosehip Treatment for Rose also has um, some geranium in it, I believe, along with some other essential oils. Now, to me, uh, oils are oils, right? But no, I was totally wrong. Rosehip is similar to Argan. It has some really beneficial omegas in it. Omega 3, 6, and 9 or something that's maybe they're not perfect multipliers of each other. That's funny. But um, rosehip oil is a lot lighter than Argan oil. So I can use this in my skincare regime every day and not find myself an oil slick by the end of the day. And again, this line is for oily combination skin um, so it is created to balance oil and I have never encountered an oil that will calm down my own oil production but this one absolutely does and um, I really enjoy the yeah really enjoy it so yeah I like this line so much I actually already picked up the full size of the rose geranium hydrosol and I'm already down in it a little bit and the uh, facial serum is next to go. I have just a little bit left, and I will definitely be picking one of these up. I really enjoy it for around the eyes as well, just um, uh, straight up around the eyes, and um, any fine lines, sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder, any fine lines that I am working on or dry patches that I get on my cheeks, I will double apply as well. Um, and if you wanna see how I apply these the oil and the hydrosol then um, click below and I will link you to that when it's up. I'm going to do a little um, oil and water application. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Something something like this. Oh hey I got my hair cut. Yay I got my hair cut. So exciting. There is a rose line that is for combination oily dehydrated skin, right? There's also a blue line that is for um, aging and mature skin, which I contemplated, not gonna lie. And there's also, I think it's green or yellow, but it is for blemish prone skin. And there's like a spot treatment in there and a different kind of mask and um, a gel cleanser and those kinds of things. So each um, line is appropriate for whatever, you know, that skin type needs. So I actually might mix up the lines a little bit and get the spot treatment because I do get spots. Um, so that is good to know as well. She definitely has different products for different um, type skin and she doesn't necessarily just have one for each category in each line like um, there are two or three different kinds of hydrosols that would work in the rose uh, red line I know that for sure I know she has a tea tree hydrosol too um, there are a couple of different serums for each line so there's definitely a wide spectrum of products and everyone could find something that works for their skin I am pretty convinced of that and that is you know a pretty big feat after spending some time on her website I'm convinced of that so there's that too I forgot to say I enjoy every one of these products which is does not often happen for me with these little like kits um, I've tried a couple of other kits like this and I wind up really liking like two of the five or two of the four and I just want to say that I really appreciate all of these and I might eventually own all of them. Evan Healy is higher on the price range than a lot of typical natural products. However, it is pretty typical for any kind of skincare that you would find at Sephora or Ulta or any boutique kind of line. Um, it's definitely not ridiculous like La Mer or um, uh, anything I can't think of any other ridiculousness. La Mer is pretty much the most ridiculous to me, which I used to use and I loved, but um, this is pretty comparable, I would say. And at this point, I'm really rambling. So I just want to say that I really love all of these products. All of them. Okay, that is my review. Uh, I would definitely give these products a thumbs up and I will link them below and list the ingredients so you guys can check them out for yourself. Thanks for watching.